check it out. It's the new V-Core 97. This is just the lighter version, I think, um, but I got it because uh, I also extended it by half an inch with this butt cap I will talk about in a future video. But for now, let me come around and welcome you to my backyard. So this is my uh, tennis setup here. And well, what it is, is it's kind of a rebound net, but it's actually designed for catching. So this isn't necessarily a tennis net, it's for baseball, but I've set it up in such a way that it actually uh, dampens a little bit more than it would normally. So basically you fire a ball in here as hard as you can and it kind of just plops it back and there's a couple of tricks to how I got it to work this way but at the end of the day it's not that technical and I wanted to show you this because this is totally something you can do even if you have a somewhat limited space in your backyard so I'm lucky enough to have a little bit of a concrete area here but I don't think I'm really getting more than maybe 12 to 15 feet maybe I should measure that sometime but I don't have that much distance from the net but since the net doesn't fire the ball back so far I don't actually need to be too far away from the wall so that's part of what's nice about this. Also, you can hit it super hard and the ball comes back nice and slow. So it allows you to generate your own pace. But yeah, it lets you generate your own pace but work within a limited space. So I'll, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Always got my sandals on out here. It's a laziness thing. So you guys get the idea. I wouldn't recommend having an umbrella open like this, um, cause you know, <laughs> but uh, I was sitting out here earlier, so I opened the umbrella. But yeah, normally this would be closed. Um, another cool thing you can actually do here is that you can practice serves. You can even do a little serve and return practice. A really good exercise with this thing is to work on really feeling the top spin. So what you can do is actually get up real close and just brush the ball a lot. And this is something I actually really want to, I really want to work on with my backhands, both my one and my two, because I kind of have both right now. But I'll show you that. And that's great. One thing you can't really work on is volleys. It just doesn't really send the ball back in a way that's conducive for volleys. But other than that, you can work on a lot. And I think that the value of having something like this, this in your backyard, uh, it gives you something, obviously the convenience, but uh, it gives you a kind of practice that you don't really get with a ball machine. I mean, you can't serve and then have the ball come back and then kind of rally like that. You know what I mean? Like this is a unique thing that a net allows you to do. Um, even a tennis wall, it just blasts the ball back relative to how hard you hit it, and that can just lead to really erratic, erratic practice sometimes. Obviously the pace is good in its own way, but dealing with pace at this level is also great. It's just another aspect of your tennis that uh, I think the practice side of it is invaluable. So I'm going to show you the net and talk about some of the things I've done to make it work as well as it does, so that you can do the same. Okay. So, one of the main tricks is to have this thing on a tilt. That way the net is actually at a slight angle. I'll show you the angle here. Yeah, so that allows the ball to kind of uh, have a slightly upwards trajectory. Gives you a little more time to respond, but it also absorbs the impact a little bit 
better just by kind of reducing the angle of attack from where the ball actually hits it. So that's actually really important. Um, and the box is here, how I achieved that. Obviously these aren't gonna hold up too long with time or rain. They're placeholders for now. I'll, I'll think of something more clever. You can see the purpose that it serves. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. You could just use a paper box or a cardboard box like I did, or maybe something longer lasting like wood blocks or something metal even, I'm not sure. I might try to clamp something to these pipes and uh, make something that it can actually be elevated. So we'll see what I end up doing, but I just haven't put much time into that yet. Uh, the other thing is around the perimeter of it, I have pool noodles to kind of absorb the impact. Say I miss hit the ball or my aim is just terrible and I hit this. If it was just a metal pole, it would fly off so much more quickly than it does with this. So this is just to help uh, some of the miss hits bounce less erratically off of the pole. So that's the only function these guys serve. They're just kind of clamped on there with zip ties and some shoelaces since I ran out of zip ties. Um, and speaking of the zip ties, actually, it's a little hard to see here, but if you look here at the top, um, I've actually applied a little more tension than the net would have naturally, just by sort of weaving a zip tie like here, for example, and then pulling it down a couple of squares and tightening it. And I would do that all the way across to kind of get the tension the way I want to. And, you know, much like a tennis racket, the higher the tension, the less power, right? So and the more control. And, and you definitely notice that because there's not that much tension on a rope like net like this compared to a tennis racket, but the tighter you have it, the more predictable the rebound is and uh, just the better the ball kind of returns off of this thing. So that's my setup out here. I don't have too much room, like I said. I think a lot of people that have a backyard and some concrete sidewalk type of, whoa. Backyard area, I'll just back up so you can see this. We'll be able to make use of some kind of space like this, see? So, I mean, there's not that much space you can see it's not that much, like the length that I have to work with isn't that much longer than the net actually is tall. And this net is, I think, about seven feet by nine feet, so seven feet high and nine feet wide. So I will leave you guys a link in the description to the one that I bought. And I've bought quite a few and I found that this one works the best, so I'd highly recommend that you guys get this one but it's possible that something else would work. But whatever you get, you have to make sure it's not a rebound net because a rebound net is designed to actually really return the ball back with a lot of momentum, whereas a net that's designed for catching is designed to absorb the momentum. But none of this stuff is made for tennis in the first place. Best case scenario, you find something that is made for baseball, and those baseballs are much harder, much harder and much heavier. So. You have to keep that in mind when you're getting this. So if you want something to work nicely for a tennis ball, make sure it's like a catching net, not a rebound net, because the rebound net will just fling those tennis balls back and you're not going to be able to rally with that very realistically. Um, something like that might be good for practicing volleys. And I actually might put one of those smaller rebound nets in a space down here. That way I can kind of, you know, work on my forehands and backhands and serves here. And if I want to, I just turn around and work on volleys here. So if something like that is possible, and I get it set up, I'll certainly let you guys know. So, anyway, that's my backyard setup. Uh, yeah, let me know if this video is helpful for you. I don't really know of anybody that's set anything up like this, so I wanted to share this and kind of increase the awareness of the potential this kind of thing has, and yeah. One more for the outro. That'll do. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for a review of this extension cap that I have on here. That's how I allowed myself to turn this uh, V-Core 97 into a 27 and a half inch, which they don't make with a butt cap made by XTP. Um, and I guess I'll be doing a review of this racket as well, so stay tuned for that. As well as the strings in here. I'm trying a lot of new stuff, so I'll let you guys know what's going on. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see me talk about. And I'll see you guys in a future video. All right.